Ivanka Trump was a fashion model and a fashion designer before she was first daughter. But when her father began involving himself in politics, the context surrounding Ivanka's clothes shifted and made way for several fashion faux pas. Here are some of Ivanka's most inappropriate outfits ever. After Donald Trump was confirmed as the Republican nominee for president in 2016, Ivanka Trump seized her Republican National Convention appearance as an opportunity to publicize her own business interests while touching on American labor laws and women in the workforce. Capitalizing on her own work, Ivanka wore the baby pink Ivanka Trump sleeveless studded sheath dress from her fashion line. The following day, a tweet was posted on her verified Twitter account that read, Shop Ivanka's look from her RNC speech. This was followed by a link to the dress on the Macy's website. It was an affiliate link, which indicated Ivanka could have earned additional commission from any purchases made. The $138 dress promptly sold out at both Macy's and Nordstrom. Some saw the outfit choice in the subsequent tweet as shameless self-promotion, and despite Ivanka's mention of American labor, the Macy's site listed her dress as imported. In November 2016, four months after the RNC controversy, Ivanka Trump wore a $10,800 Metropolis diamond bangle from her jewelry line in an appearance on 60 Minutes alongside her family. When host Leslie Stahl asked whether Donald Trump's polarizing campaign had negatively impacted the Trump brand, Ivanka responded, I don't think it matters. This is so much more important and more serious. That's the focus. Ivanka's decision to wear the bracelet was not particularly controversial in itself, but the marketing tactics that followed were were. After the interview aired, Monica Martyr, former vice president of sales for Ivanka Trump Fine Jewelry, sent out a style alert press release to journalists that stated Ivanka's favorite bangle was available to buy, asking recipients to, quote, please share this with your clients. New York Times reporter Eric Lipton tweeted in response, White House as QVC, it has started. The next day, Abigail Clem, the former president of the Ivanka Trump brand, told NBC News that the style alert email, quote, was sent by a well-intentioned marketing employee who, like many of us, is still making adjustments post-election. In January 2017, Ivanka Trump posted a photo on Twitter of herself wearing an iridescent silver gown two days after Donald Trump had announced his Muslim ban executive order. Ivanka's dress, which was designed by Carolina Herrera and cost $5,000, drew criticism because it highlighted Ivanka's lavish lifestyle at a time when racism and human rights were central to the cultural conversation. When the Trump administration came under fire for the separation of children from their parents at the Mexican border in 2018, photos circulated of immigrant kids using sheets of silver foil as blankets. The photo of Ivanka's silver dress resurfaced, again as a reflection of the real disparity between those in power and those affected by their policies. Multiple Twitter users, including comedian and writer Orly Matlow, posted split-screen photos of Ivanka's dress and the detained immigrant children. Matlow wrote, Who wore it better, children detained in McAllen, Texas, or Ivanka Trump? Well, immigration is not part of my portfolio, obviously. In February 2017, Donald Trump gave his first address to Congress. The speech pushed the slogan, Buy American, Hire American, and focused on encouraging Americans to buy American products. Ivanka Trump did not appear to have known the contents of the speech in advance because she wore a fuchsia cocktail dress by French designer Roland Moray to the event. A representative for the designer told The Independent that the dress cost $1,868 and was made in the United Kingdom. What would Donald think? So you do disagree with him from time to time? Oh, frequently. And he knows it. Many onlookers pointed out the irony and hypocrisy of Ivanka's dress, given her father's message. Members of the public also questioned why the first daughter was not treated the same as former First Lady Michelle Obama, noting the off-the-shoulder cut of Ivanka's dress. One Twitter user wrote, Remember all that crap about Michelle Obama showing her arms, and if it was appropriate? Well, behold Ivanka and her shoulders. Black tie events indicate a formal dress code, but the lesser-known white tie dress code is even fancier and is associated with the so-called full evening dress seen at state and royal occasions. During the Trump family's state visit to the United Kingdom in June 2019, they attended a banquet at Buckingham Palace with the Queen that was certainly a white tie affair. Ivanka Trump wore an embellished collared cornflower blue dress by Carolina Herrera, which provoked commentary on Twitter for being too casual for white tie. One of the platforms users wrote, Ivanka looks like she's wearing a denim dress that she personally bedazzled. 
In 2018, Ivanka Trump reportedly wore this cozy floral print jacket tied with a sash to work in Washington, D.C. According to the Daily Mail, the coat was designed by Rebecca Taylor and cost $895. Heather Tooley commented at the time in an article for Inquisitor, writing, "...it'll be interesting to see if Ivanka Trump will make pajama-like styles a trend after wearing the bathrobe coat." Trend or not, it wasn't the last time Ivanka wore what looked like a house coat outside of the house. In October 2019, she posted a photo to Instagram of her visit to a childcare facility on the campus of a community college in Kansas City, Missouri. The photo showed Ivanka wearing a white wrap dress with a large sash, a dress she also wore at the White House in January 2020. Some found this to be an odd choice for visiting children. One Twitter user wrote, "...is she having a sleepover with these kids? Can't think of another reason she would be in her bathrobe." Another wrote, "...Ivanka, are you wearing a terry cloth bathrobe? Does it have a Trump logo on the front?" If there's one pattern that summed up the trends of 2020, it would be the red, spiky, angry spheres of coronavirus. As the virus began to spread stateside at the beginning of 2020, Ivanka Trump took a pre-lockdown trip to India and posed with a smile in front of the Taj Mahal. She captioned the snap on Instagram and Twitter on February 24th, writing, "...the grandeur and beauty of the Taj Mahal is awe-inspiring." She wore a Proenza schooler dress splattered with striking crimson flowers, which, to the horror and delight of some Twitter users, resembled the COVID-19 virus. Others, meanwhile, simply gave Ivanka props for re-wearing the dress, which she had previously worn during a September 2019 visit to Argentina. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about the latest hot topics are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.